open. But there's a different question we are being asked now. Are you going to remain open even when your doors are closed? Open. There's another way to be open, to pull together or push, depending on the door. And we are making it work. And we will continue to make it work, together. Because open, we stand. All right, Daniel, thank you so much. A a man who was shot by Richland deputies last night is suspected of uh, killing his pregnant girlfriend and her child in Minnesota. And investigators say he came here to kill another woman. News 19's Julia Kaufman has the details. Here at the Richland County Sheriff's Department, Sheriff Leon Lott has shared an update after police officers shot a suspect inside the Aloft Hotel in the Harvison area on Sunday night. An arrest team went to make an arrest. Um, They verbally tried to talk him out of the room. He was making threats uh, through the door to the officers outside the room, told them that he had a gun, had a rifle, and that uh, he was going to shoot them. Um, At some point around 10.10, he opened the door to come outside the room with a gun in his hand. We had two Lexington County deputies and a sled agent fired upon him, and um, he was hit. This is the weapon Sheriff Lott says the suspect approached officers with inside the Aloft Hotel. The sheriff says it's a BB gun. Investigators tell us the suspect is 29-year-old Renard Liddell Carter, and he fled to Columbia from Rochester, Minnesota, after killing his pregnant girlfriend and her two-year-old daughter. Police in that state say Carter killed the two on Thursday, and their bodies were found in the victim's Rochester apartment on Sunday. According to Sheriff Lott, Rochester PD informed them Carter was in the area, so they launched a joint investigation with Lexington County, SLED, and the Columbia PD to find him. And his intent to come to Columbia was to kill an ex-girlfriend here. Sheriff Lott says they located Carter's ex-girlfriend and put her in a safe house until he was apprehended. They were able to make an arrest. Uh, EMS came and treated him, and he has now been put in a hospital where he's being guarded. The suspect is currently hospitalized in Columbia. Sheriff Leon Lott did not share the extent of his injuries, but he says he'll be extradited and charged in Minnesota. In Columbia, Julia Kaufman, News 19, WLTX. Well, as we speak of Minnesota, family members of the victims had not heard from the woman for several days, so they went to her apartment yesterday to check on her. Family friends simply asking now that the community pray for the victim's family. You can't do nothing else. And if you don't feel like coming from behind your doors, get on your knees and say a prayer for this family. Because we're one hurt, we all hurt in this community. So please, lift this family up in prayer. Lift my nephew up in prayer, the father of the child. Please lift up the mother of this young lady. Lift her up. You know, should nobody have to bury their child. Autopsies will be performed to determine the exact cause of deaths.